We are going to move fast because we have a lot of amazing updates and announcements to share. And we are going to start off with Terry White and Danielle Morimoto, showing you some of the ways that we are accelerating your work, making you more efficient in your everyday creativity. So let's give a warm welcome to Terry and Danielle. Well, thanks, Scott. I'm super excited to be here to show you some of my favorite new features and, more importantly, updates in Photoshop CC and something else a little bit later. So, how many of you use Photoshop? Awesome. All right, let's get started with some updates that you've been asking for for years. First of all, I'm in a Photoshop document and I want to edit text. Well, you know, go to the type tool, click in the wrong place, now you're adding text instead of um, editing. Well now, just like InDesign and Illustrator, I can double click to edit text. More importantly, once I'm done, I don't have to know how to click a commit button, find the right key on the keyboard, I just click away to auto commit. Next up, I wanna go in now and change the color. Well, now we have the brand new color wheel, among all the other ways of changing color, but you'll find this color wheel works in color harmony and you'll see it throughout the day, especially in the mobile section. So I can click a, a range of color that I wanna work with, click away, nah, that's not it. How about something in the fuchsia category, like matching my shirt, nah, that's not it. How about something maybe in the reds or, you've been here before, right? You won't know it till you see it. But then you, you make that change, and then you kind of like, well, maybe I liked it the way it was in the beginning. No longer do you have to know the secret keyboard shortcut, because today, Command Z, Command Z, Command Z, Command Z. <laughs> Something you've been asking for for years. All right, so with that said, last thing I want to do, I want to free transform this, and I know what you're thinking. He's about to reach for the shift key because that made sense two decades ago. No, it didn't. I no longer have to hold down the shift key because scale proportionally is on by default. And those are just a few of the many updates that you've been asking for. Double click to edit text, uh, click away to auto commit, Command Z, Command Z, Command Z, and of course, free transform proportional by default. I'm gonna switch over to my next image where I'd love to do a modern day double exposure effect. I've got the bear, I've got the forest, you see where this is going. Now in order to do this, I need to cut the bear out. So I would traditionally reach over for my quick select tool. I would start making that selection and start dragging and start dragging, you get the idea. We're not gonna do that anymore because we have the brand new Adobe Sensei powered select subject. So with one click, Photoshop will figure out what the subject is and make that selection for me. All right. Now, I need to turn that into a mask, which is the very next button, select and mask. When I click on select and mask, I can see that, well, there's a little bit of background left in the fur, so I'm gonna use the new Surface Pen on the brand new Surface Studio, Microsoft Surface Studio here. And we're just gonna go ahead and just paint that right out with the Refine Edge tool built right in. All right, once I get that beautiful mask, I'll just go ahead and click away, click OK. It will make the mask for me. I will then use that beautiful mask on the background. I'll just drag it down, and you're thinking, okay, well, how am I gonna see the forest? Well, tr traditionally, you'd use a blend mode, but you'd either have to know which one you want or go through them one by one to see which one looks best, clicking each time. Well, I'm happy today to introduce live blend modes now in Photoshop. So I just click, I hover over the ones until I find the one I want. <laughs> and I'm done. Adobe Sensei Powered Select Subject, new and improved Select and Mask, and more importantly, live blend modes. Now, for my uh, graphic designers in the audience, you've been here before where you want to lay out multiple images on the canvas. We want to fill in that last image up the top. I'm going to go ahead and drag it over from my CC library. When I drag it over, no problem, scale it down. Sweet. All right, once I get it down, 
I would still have to figure out how to select it and mask it and get it just right. So I'm not going to do any of that because instead I'm going to use the brand new frame tool here in Photoshop CC. I'll just go ahead and drag my frame out. My InDesign users just clap. I'm going to drag my frame out <laughs> and I'm just going to drag this image in and it will do two things for me. It will perfectly size the image down and it will automatically mask off any excess image. I still have access to the whole image though. So if I want to free transform it, I can, scaling it within the frame and moving it around in the frame without having to know how to mask it perfectly. Now, if you're thinking that frames are limited to just rectangles, you couldn't be further from the truth because here's text that I converted into a frame with just a right click. Here's an elliptical frame done with the frame tool. And more importantly, here's a vector frame from a guitar that I got from Adobe Stock and I just right click, convert it into a frame, and I drag over my Adobe stock image right into it, and beautiful masks are easy now in Photoshop. <laughs> now in this case, I've got multiple artboards. Artboards is an amazing feature inside of Photoshop and Illustrator, and in this case, I would love to visualize my design in the 3D space. Now, Photoshop's had 3D for, 3D for years, but it's a bad word if you don't know what 3D is or if you don't know how to work in 3D. So a year ago, we introduced a brand new tool called Adobe Dimension. And Adobe Dimension allows you to pre-visualize or visualization of your branding in a photorealistic environment easily. And that's the key. So let's switch over to Adobe Dimension. And here's Adobe Dimension. I've got this backpack, magazine, this travel adventure scene set up, ready to go. And I'm going to go to my uh, operating system here, grab that exact same PSD, and drag it in. So there it is, dragging it in. And when I get there, you'll notice the logo from the first artboard comes in. We'll scale it down. And it's already matching and mapping to that. Wait, you don't believe me? Look at that. It's matching and mapping to that backpack automatically. Imagine having to do that in Photoshop and warping it and trying to get it in the right space. I just did it by dragging and dropping. Now, once I'm here, I want to also change the materials here. And when I change, when I double click on this, um, I keep double clicking, there we go. When I double click on the backpack, I'm going to uh, use another new feature, which is multiple layered materials. So I just switch the material, multiple layers, and now my logo doesn't look good. So, well, wait a minute. I remember I have multiple artboards. I can now access those artboards right in Adobe Dimension. Switch to one that looks better, and away I go. Now, if you're thinking, well, how do I really see that? New in Adobe Dimension, the ability to bookmark your camera views. So if there's a view that you really like, just switch to it. This isn't even rendered yet, and it looks cool. All right. now. My favorite new feature in Adobe Dimension is this is great for me working on my desktop, but what if I need to share this with all of you or share it with my client? How will they really experience this? Well, new in Adobe Dimension, the ability to publish a 3D scene to the web, create a link, all set. Once I click that, I'm not going to wait for it to render, but we're going to just pop over to the browser where I've got this all set and ready to go, and here it is in the browser for the client to work with it. I don't know, I'm just strange. I like looking at the bottom. But anyway, <laughs> there it is. And not only does my client get to move it around, but they get the same bookmarks. They get to jump to exactly what they want to see. So with that said, those are just a few of my favorite features in Photoshop and Dimension. I can't wait to see what you do with it. I can't wait till you get your hands on it today. And with that said, Danielle, take it away. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Terry.